guys it's Paris today's video is going to be a haul video this is a big haul of a bunch of clothes that I got for the summertime quarantine and stay-at-home order was definitely kind of tough on my bank account because I was so bored and had nothing else to do except online shop and I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat I love me a good haul video because I love clothes I don't think I've done a haul since like the fall or winter time so I'm really excited for this stuff and everything I can find links to will be down below so I feel like this could be a long video so I'm not gonna ramble too much let's just get into all the clothes that I bought in the last like two months for summertime. So I guess going in chronological order, I will start with these two items that I got from Altered State. I had never shopped there before. I was in Colorado for like two days um, for my spring break. It was like right before Corona hit. Like I said, we were only there for a few days. We left right away and drove home. We didn't fly home. So don't worry about all that. I was not one of those people that prolonged my spring break into the pandemic, but I digress. A lot of stores and restaurants had already started shutting down by then, so I went into Altered State because they were like one of the only stores that was still open in the shopping center I went to, so like I said, I'd never been in there before, but they had some really cute stuff, so the first thing I got was this really cute like green blue tie-dye long sleeve top. Uh, you'll definitely notice a theme of some tie-dye in this haul. It has been a huge trend as I'm sure you guys are all aware. I really like the colors. It was something different for me and it's just a good comfy top. I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of this. The next top that I got was this one which I am obsessed with. I love my stars again just like every single other girl. This cute little tie up peplum top. It's white with black stars all over it. This one wasn't on sale. I remember this being kind of pricey but I just loved it. I thought it was so cute. I just think that it is the most adorable trendy cute little summer top staying with the chronological order the day after we drove home from Colorado was my birthday it was my 20th birthday it was a quarantine birthday so it wasn't that fun but whatever one of my favorite gifts that I just want to show in this haul was I got a pair of aviator nation sweatpants I've been eyeing these forever there's a lot of loungewear in this haul partly because that's what I wear all the time and also partly because that is sort of the lifestyle we've all been living recently these are the classic five stripe joggers I got them in gray I was debating which color I wanted but I thought the gray would be good just because it would match a lot we have the little aviator nation logo over here the stripes down the side obviously um these are probably the most cozy and soft and comfy pair of sweatpants that i own i'm obsessed with them it's getting really warm out now but when it was still in the cooler months during quarantine i was wearing these all the freaking time oh, yeah. next up i ordered two random items from lf like a while ago i think i showed these in a vlog so i'll make it quick in case you guys have already seen these but i got two little going out tops so obviously have not worn these yet because there have been no uh going out occasions recently i got this cute uh white crop tank top with gold chains four straps thought it was like a good in between like it's a basic it it's just plain white you can wear it with a lot but the straps like dress it up a little bit make it a little bit more unique um and then i got this bodysuit which is probably really hard to tell what it is off camera um but it is a long sleeve one shoulder um cut out elf is so expensive but i feel like they also are always having big sales so excited to wear those things when i actually can another uh loungewear item i ordered during quarantine was i got a pair of joggers from a boutique called 25a i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it i was getting instagram ads for them and stuff i'd never heard of it before but their stuff is really cute and they gave me an ad for this it's those damn targeted ads i swear like it's so creepy but at the same time i'm like well i mean if you insist like they literally throw things in your face like how can i not act on that green and blue and pink um tie-dye sweats all the way down they're really 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 soft and comfy so next i got a little set from shop up again some comfy loungewear um i got this camo set from z supply i know they sell z supply like so many different places but i got this one off shop up so it is these little drawstring shorts in a camo charcoal gray pattern i love camo i have so many camo things and then i got the matching crew neck sweatshirt so i think i also showed this in a vlog recently i don't really know all the days blend together i love z supply stuff it's so soft and comfy and cozy and i just love their patterns a lot you can wear them separately you can wear them together i'm just justifying spending money on something that i basically have a bunch of i also want to mention to you guys really quick my friend and roommates of past and future gwen has started a really cute little clothing company so i got a t-shirt from there i want to show it to you guys and give a little shout out it would definitely mean a lot if you guys would check out their company even just give it a follow just give them some support because everything is really cute it's called golden hour clothing co i will link it down below their instagram and their website so this was a shirt that i got from them all their t-shirts are comfort colors which are just the best t-shirts if you ask me i got this really cute light yellow one that says 
be kind anyway it's just like a sweet fun little message like i said they have quite a few different t-shirts and i think everything's really cute really affordable you definitely cannot go wrong with big comfy t-shirts like this in the summer for throwing on over your suit lounging around in sleeping in so the next place i have stuff from is revolve i got a bunch of swimsuits and one pair of shorts so i guess i'm going to start with the swimsuit that i'm actually returning because you know get the bad stuff out of the way so i got this set this is from super down by revolve and the top looks like this. It's a little like racer back style. Um, then the bottoms look like this. I guess my first issue is the material, the metallic material. And the material is really, really, really thin. The swimsuit definitely wasn't that expensive, but it was probably like $50 for the set, which isn't really cheap either. Um, but the material feels cheap. The band here like does not stretch. It's not stretchy. It's just stitched. Um, and I literally can't fit this over my head. It's like, I and kind of on the smaller side on top okay like if this doesn't fit me i don't know who it's supposed to fit so now here's the stuff that i do actually like um i got this bikini set this is from the brand lovers and friends i love this style of top i don't have anything like it it's blue color it's ruched has a little cutout in the front and then these halter straps if you guys can tell how that's modeled i don't really have any swimsuits this style i thought it was really cute pretty happy with her definitely not too cheeky because i do not like cheeky bottoms and we have another swim top this brand is also lovers and friends um, it's this really cute yellow one shoulder one strap swimsuit. I again thought this was unique because it's the one strap but it's also just pretty basic. I don't have any swimsuits in this yellow color and this is a pretty good tanning swimsuit because it only has like one tiny little strap. I thought this was a fun color. I don't have anything in this style or this color. And the final swimsuit top I got from Revolve is this one. This brand is Tularosa. I'm sure you guys have seen this set literally everywhere. It's in a size small. It definitely is a little small even for me who has like not a big chest. It has some mesh on the top of bunch of colorful stripes and some yellow pom-poms they were sold out of the matching bottoms which i was kind of bummed about but i figured i could match this with like so many different bottoms because there's so many different colors in it the final thing i got from revolve is these pair of shorts which are also by the super down brand and they are these cheetah zip up shorts i only had a size small left i was going to get a medium but the small honestly works fine i mean they're definitely tight and kind of booty shorts but i feel like that's the style anyway they have a bunch of pockets which i like in the front and the back um, they zip up in the front and yeah they're just fun little shorts i also love cheetah and leopard print i just have so many articles of clothing that are cheetah but i didn't have any shorts and now i do i'm literally like carol baskin over here all i wear is animal print like um so i have one pair of shoes to show in this haul i got a pair of sandals from tory birch the shoes that everyone and their mother has the tory birch miller sandals i got them in black i was going back and forth between what color i wanted um, I knew I wanted the patent leather because it makes it a little more dressy, but I decided on the black. I've been looking for a while for a good, like, basic summer shoe, but one that's a little bit more dressy and mature and nice. That's not just my Birkenstocks because every single summer I just wear my Birkenstocks every day, all day long, just because they match with everything. They're really comfy. They're super easy to just slip on. I wanted a nicer pair of shoes for the warm weather that wasn't Birks is basically what I'm saying. So I decided to get these just because they're classic. They match with everything, and yeah. I just love the look of them. I know I'm going to be wearing these all the time. I don't know. They're just like a really good basic classic sandal to have. I have two items from Free People now to show you guys. I got a pair of denim shorts. I am obsessed with these shorts, you guys. I saw a pair of shorts just like this from a Goldie, I believe, but these are a little bit more of an affordable option. I bought another good pair of denim shorts for the summer, and I also wanted a pair that were a little bit longer. These are called the Mackay shorts, I believe. Um, I got them in this light wash color. I love Free People denim all these buttons it's really high-waisted and they definitely go um, a little bit longer in the front I mean I know they're not like long by any means but in comparison to like other shorts that I have um, all the reviews said to size down so I did but they're like a little bit tight also while I was shopping online at free people I just picked up this plain white t-shirt I love their tees I mean this is literally just a plain white <laughs> crew neck t-shirt uh, it's one of their oversized styles so this isn't an extra small but it is very big as you guys can tell I just been needing another white t-shirt I don't feel like I need to justify a white shirt because this can be worn with literally everything. I have one random shirt that I got from Nordstrom. I was on Nordstrom shopping for some Mother's Day gifts and then I came across this so I picked it up. I never usually shop there and again I don't have anything else from there but this was on sale. This is from the Rachel Parcell line. I am obsessed with Rachel Parcell you guys. I've been following her on Instagram for probably at least like three years. Maybe more than that. I'm trying to think because I was following her like way before her son was born. I think he's almost three so I'm not sure. 
Anyway, I'm obsessed with her. She's just, she's just gold. I love her pieces, but a lot of them are just like really, really dressy for me to buy. Like I don't, I never really felt like any of her pieces made sense for me to buy for everyday wear, but I saw this top. It was super on sale. I thought it was adorable. It has these really cute little ruffly sleeves at the end. It's a really nice rib material. I just, I don't know. I love this. I thought it was a fun little shirt, especially because it's by one of my favorite Instagrammers I had to support. So the final store that I have stuff from in this haul is Shein. Now I know that a lot of people like to get on my case about fast fashion in general and Shein and stuff. People love to harp on me for fast fashion, but they're the same people shopping from like Amazon and other big corporations and pick ways that we're going to be environmentally conscious, but there's always going to be things that we do that aren't the most um, sustainable. So yeah, I just got rid of like three garbage bags of clothes, you guys. I recycled a bunch of my clothes. I thrift. I do other things in my life that are sustainable. And I think the other element of that is a lot of sustainable brands are not affordable. If you guys do have affordable, sustainable brands that you want to throw my way, definitely send them my way. But I feel like most of the brands that are popular that are known as sustainable are really expensive and not affordable for the everyday person. And people like to say, oh, just go thrift. But like no one wants to just thrift every single piece of clothing that you want. Like anyway, as a person in America with capitalism, you have the right to decide what you want to put your money towards. If you are wanting truly affordable shopping, um, you know, sustainability is not always the option. You can say whatever you want about Shein. I'm not here to fight with anyone. I'm just here to show affordable clothes. With that being said, I have a discount code for you guys. So this is it. You can get, I think, 15 or 20% off your order. I don't know. And everything will be linked down below. So shout out Shein for sending me this stuff. First off, I got this cute little pajama set. I've been buying a bunch of pajama sets recently because I've been, you know, in my bed a lot more than I usually am. So this one is star print, which of course I am just obsessed with. It's a little t-shirt. And then also a little short set. This one runs so tiny. Like she and stuff usually run small, but this stuff is tiny. So I wonder if it's like a kid's or something. But I literally got this in a large and it is... This is not a large. I got two bikini sets. I restrained myself. And Shein has like some of the cutest swimwear, honestly, in my opinion. The first one I got is this really cute little orange set. Um, I don't have any swimsuits in this color. And I like how it has this cute little circular cutout in the front. Just gives a nice little detail. The matching bottoms look like this. So they also have ruching and ties on the side. These are a little cheeky, but they're not that bad in my opinion. Um, again, I'm someone that really does not like cheeky bottoms. And I will wear these. So I love this color because it makes you look tan. This set I'm obsessed with. Now this one, I don't know where I'll be wearing it necessarily this is not um, a very secure set looks like this I don't know if you'll even be able to tell but so it is like black and then it has this white um, color block little cutout part so yeah you'll just have to see it in the trial this might be really difficult but I think that this is super cool and a really really unique bikini set I've never seen anything like this before um, but the black front part that actually covers your boobs is really um, shallow in my opinion so Things um things are not secure to say the least, but I do think it looks really cool. This would be cool for a cool vacation when those will ever be possible again. And then the bottoms look like this, so they are the same um, black and white cutout deal. They have a little cutout um, on your hips. I think this is a really flattering cut too because there's a lot of lines. It really accentuates you. Another PJ set. This one's a light blue um, ribbed material. It has the matching shorts and the matching top it's just like a little t-shirt with a button so i've been wearing this so much i've already washed it like twice because i'm wearing it all the time because it is so 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 dang comfortable this one actually runs a little big i got two skirts i'm trying to wear skirts more instead of just like lulu shorts every day and just sort of dress up my outfits a little bit so i got this one i wore it the other night i am obsessed with it it is this pink floral material it has a bunch of little ruffles it's super adorable kind of gives me that like love shack fancy vibe you know except it's probably like 1 50th of the price. It has a little drawstring bow in the front. This one I got in a size small, I think, so it's a little bit shorter, but I love this. And the next skirt I got is this light blue one. This is also ruched and has a bunch of ruffles. I love the color blue. This one I got in a medium, so it's a little bit bigger. What I actually think is cute is this could definitely be worn as a top. It'd be a cute little strapless vibe or a skirt, obviously as it's meant to be. This is another one that I think would look so adorable with a bikini top. The final thing that I have from Shein and the final thing in this haul is I got these beach cover-up type of pants. I was a little worried about these because I didn't know if they would fit or if they'd be too sheer, but I actually love these. They fit me perfectly. I got them in a size medium. So they're these white linen, really flowy pants. So they are perfect for summertime, perfect for a cover-up. I didn't have any pants like this and I've really been wanting a pair. So I'm happy with these. Um, my one complaint is they do have a liner in the back, which is awesome. Um, so they're not see-through, but my problem is the liner only goes to like here. 
so so it looks kind of strange because that is everything in this big try on summer clothing haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the stuff that i have been wasting my money on as of late um like i said everything that i can find links for will be linked down below and i do have a coupon code for shein if you guys want to check it out so thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already follow me on instagram everything like that and i will see you guys in my next video bye